Hi, Arwen here, current precarity rep to the SLSA board. We recently published a precarious employment survey report, and my co-authors and I want to share some highlights of the report with you. You'll find a link to the full report below this video. Hi, I'm Lara, and I'm one of the PGR reps for the SLSA. One of the findings from our report was the financial pressure associated with precarity. Respondents felt that the low rates of pay and the additional labour associated with ensuring that they were paid on time were two particularly challenging aspects. They also noted how this financial pressure impacted their long-term futures. So one participant commented, I do not see how I will ever have stability, a pension, or even after years of work, if I will ever be able to afford buying a property. Lastly, respondents felt that the lack of research uh, funding available to precariously employed staff was particularly difficult. Um, they felt that this influenced their ability to engage with key academic activities, such as disseminating their research or attending conferences. Hello, I'm Philip, and along with Arwen, Lara and Maddie, uh, I've been involved with the Precarious Employment Survey Report. And I wanted to speak a little bit about the second theme in the report, um, which was the career impact. And uh, we sort of identified two, two main themes in terms of career impact. The first theme was the disruption caused by the constant job hunt um, and all the associated activities with that. One respondent commented that when I was precariously employed, I spent a lot of time either looking for full-time employment or overworking to secure the job I was in. This left little time for research. And I think that was a fairly uh, common sort of experience, not having the time to set aside for, the, the, for research. Uh, and the second sub-theme was the, the need for greater support um, and, and pathways out of precarity. Uh, and uh, another respondent uh, in relation to that, commented that a comprehensive and coherent pre-employment training programme will be most useful for precariously employed researchers. So I think that really just goes to show that there's still a lot of work to be done in terms of the support that institutions can provide uh, precariously employed colleagues. Hi, I'm Maddie Miller. I'm a PhD student and one of the PGR reps for the SLSA. Another theme that we constructed from the data was that of burnout. This included where respondents noted the effects of precarity on their mental health, acknowledged the excessive workloads of higher education and the fact that they're often required to juggle multiple roles. One respondent noted that they suffered severe mental health problems, including sleeping disorders, and another said that they felt that they could no longer say no when asked to take on additional administrative duties for fear that it would detrimentally impact their employment prospects. Overall, this highlights the mental strain of precarious employment and the urgent need to take action to prevent and address burnout. A final theme that emerged from the survey responses was a desire for belonging. Respondents highlighted that as precariously employed academics or unpaid doctoral researchers, they felt undervalued and excluded from their universities, and they want to feel more included and supported by the academic community. One respondent noted, I don't feel like I can make long lasting connections given the, the short term nature of their current role. So now that the report is out there, we want to share it widely. We want to continue having discussions around these um, casualization trends in higher education. We want to support our members um, as best we can in terms of trying to provide that sense of community, um, additional funding in our current funding pots, um, and just to advocate for precariously employed members any way we can. I want to sincerely thank everyone who responded to the survey and provided their views. Um, I hope you'll have a chance to read the full report and please get in touch if you wanna talk about any of these issues. Thanks.